Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dr. Amatma here, the Holistic Fertility Specialist. I'm really excited to talk to you today because I have an exciting announcement for you. First of all, happy 2020. I'm so excited for this year. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely have some intentions for this year. And one of them is to share with you more on video. So clap it up if you like that idea. And I, and if you have questions, you can always type them to me, DM them to me, whatever it is, um, because I will answer them, whether it's in a post or a video or whatever. Um, second... I want to talk about IVF today. Um, a lot of people, I am the holistic fertility specialist, and a lot of people assume that just because I'm a holistic person and into the more natural approach, I'm anti-IVF. And that's actually not true. IVF can be amazing for the person that really needs it. So I want to talk to you today, though, about the negative side of IVF, right? Like IVF can be amazing. People are going to have potentially get pregnant when they've had difficulty in the past. But it also comes with the downside, which often from what women have told me, um, weight gain, breast tenderness, hot flashes, um, the period goes away and doesn't come back. Um, I don't want to scare you, but <laughs> people tell me and message me and continue to um, share with me all of the traumas that have come out of them having to do IVF. And a lot of people are afraid of it. And I don't think that you have to be afraid of it. I think it's just more that your body is going to experience a high number, a, a high amount of um, hormones being pumped in to be able to have a successful IVF cycle. It's just part of the process. But the downside or the side that no one thinks about is you can get rid of these hormones. You don't have to experience all of the negative side effects just because you had to do IVF. So yes, your body needs to have all of these hormones if you're choosing to go down this path. But even after you've done an IVF cycle, you can help support your body and your liver to get rid of these hormones that are not natural. And often from doing a detox like this one, um, I'll, t I'll tell you more about that in a minute, um, when you are able to do a successful IVF and hormone detox, your symptoms will get better or go away and you hit the reset button. So a lot of women go into an IVF cycle thinking, oh, this is going to be my only one because I'm going to get pregnant. And then two, three, five cycles later, they're just going into the next cycle. And at some point they pause and say, what the hell? I didn't think I was going to be doing this for this long. And my body is showing me that it doesn't really like what's happening. So um, I personally have seen that when you do a detox, you can hit the reset button on your hormones and potentially increase the chances of you having a more successful IVF cycle the next time. You also help clear out excess hormones that don't need to be there anymore because if you are planning to do another IVF cycle, you're going to be exposed to hormones again anyway. So clear out the old stuff, you it's not needed. So if you can get rid of it and support your liver and hit the reset button, you are going to up level your chances, increase your way, increase your chances of being able to have a more successful IVF cycle the next time. And um, and you get to support the health of the baby. So detoxifying is really, really, really great for very many reasons. For women, I think it's really important because we're going to be housing this child growing within us for nine months. And it's important to have a clear kind of um, system to support the health of this child. If men do detoxes, it's great because um, it's actually been connected that sperm counts are 
um, related to all the toxins that are in our environment. And I'll do a separate video on that one. There's way too much to talk about. Um, and the third is that children have are known to have 200 to 300 toxins floating in their bloodstream at birth. Where did these toxins come from? They are essentially coming from us, mamas, um, that are carrying the child and the child is getting exposed to all of this in our wombs. So if we can detoxify, not only get rid of the negative effects of IVF, get rid of the hormones, get rid of the symptoms that make you feel so crappy after doing a cycle. But in addition to that, you can actually um, help support the, the future health of your baby. Why wouldn't you, right? Like, why wouldn't we do this before we got pregnant? Um, the only caveat is if you are going to be um, trying to conceive, you do not want to do this um, while actively trying to conceive. So this does need to be um, done away from your IVF cycle. So this is really great if you're taking a break. If you're taking a break um, in between, say um, you have a cycle and then you don't have another cycle that's happening for three to four months, this is a really good time to do it. The detox itself is only 21 days, but you do want you to give yourself a buffer um, because even after the detox, your body's getting rid of toxins for at least up to another month. So ideally, you want to wait um, and have it between when when you have the off time. Um, so I hope this helps. I'm really excited to share this with you. I'll share the link in the bio so that you can read more about it. And um, up until January 15th, we're offering this for half off. So it'll only be $97. Um, and the prices go up after that. So um, sign up, get it, get it. Um, if you feel like this is a good fit, if you've done a bunch of IVF cycles and you want to help your body feel better, um, this is for you. And um, I will be sharing more about detoxification and why over the next week. Um, and if you have any questions, hit me up, DM me, um, respond to this video, whatever it is, and I'll see you soon. Bye.